so I've always wanted to know how accurate my eye gauging and harbor freight calipers were. And in this video, we're going to find out. I asked my father-in-law if he would test my calipers at the machine shop he works at, and he agreed to. He also told me he would have the woman who does all of their high tolerance calibrations take a look at them as well. I've had these 8 inch eye gauging absolute origin digital calipers for a few years now, and I really like them. I've recommended them numerous times to friends who don't have a nice set of calipers based on my experience with them. My wife got these off Amazon for my birthday, and they cost around $55 for the 8 inch version. These may not be the most expensive calipers in the world, but for what I use them for, they are more than accurate and for the price you really can't beat them. As for the Harbor Freight 6 inch dial calipers, well my first ones broke so I took them back and got a refund. A few months later, I got a 25% off coupon and a free tarp with any purchase coupon, and since I needed a tarp for a glue up, I decided to give these another shot. I did look all of them over and bought what I felt was the nicest, dare I say cleanest calipers they had in stock. The primary function of these calipers in my shop is to help set up dado stacks in my table saw and for less than $20, they work well enough for that task. All right, so after a few days, my father-in-law dropped these back off at my house and he told me their findings. And I have to say that one caliper really surprised me for accuracy, and no, it was not the eye gauging caliper. He said they took multiple readings off all the measuring faces, and they found that the eye gauging calipers were off between a half and a thou, which honestly isn't that big of a deal to me. This table is from eye gauging's website, and you can see here that they fall within spec, and that's really all I can ask for. I think these are a great caliper for the money, they function very well for my needs, and I still highly recommend them if you're looking for a nice set of calipers for your shop. Now for $20 calipers, I wasn't expecting too much, but then my father-in-law told me how accurate they were, and then I had him tell me again because I thought he was messing with me. He told me that these Harbor Freight dial calipers are less than half a thou off. I'll use my 20 thousandths feeler gauge again, and from my point of view, the needle lines up perfectly with that mark on the dial. Now I'm not going to say that all Harbor Freight dial calipers like this are as accurate because I really think I lucked out with this one. Some of the ones I passed on looked pretty rough and sounded just as bad. Having said that, I do like the fit and finish of this caliper, the action is very smooth, and the added bonus of how accurate they are, and that I got a free tarp out of it, well, it makes me even more inclined to recommend this item if you're looking for a set of calipers to bang around your shop. Well that concludes this week's video, I'd like to thank you for taking some time out of your day to watch it, I know it wasn't the most exciting video ever, but I hope you found it useful, and maybe you got something out of it. If you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well if you'd like to see what I'm working on before it's released. If you have any comments or questions about this week's video, please feel free to leave those below and I will address them when I can. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and have a good one.